Welcome all. Thank you for being here. My name is Michael Gagne, and I'm the executive director of Envision Peace Museum, a museum of peace, justice, and social change that is taking root here in Philadelphia. I won't say too much about Envision tonight, other than to say we're very excited about it. We're very excited about the potential of a museum to be a big tent and to bring people together for experience, reflection, dialogue, experimentation, and change. And the event tonight, which has, I think, all of us excited, is part of what we see as the museum beyond the walls. We've talked about the physical museum, and we are in the process of moving toward that building, an online museum, a place for people to share tools and stories and skills for social change, for nonviolent social change, and the museum beyond the walls of traveling exhibits and programs that, again, bring people together to explore some of the most critical questions for us in this time. So I want to welcome you all. Thank you for being here once again. Um, there are three people I want to point out in particular, and tonight has been a, a major collaborative event. But first, I want to say thank you to Diane Perlman. Um, Diane is a visiting scholar at George Mason University in the Department of Peace and Conflict Studies. And um, she helped pull this whole thing together. Um, she is the co-author uh, with uh, one of the co-authors of Johann Galtung's latest book on reconciliation. And she did a bunch of the outreach for this evening, including bringing Amy Goodman in. So thank you, Diane. Um, And just before we introduce our guests for this conversation this evening, I'd like to invite Diane up to say a word. Okay. Okay, um, anyway, thank you so much. It's a real honor to be here. And I'll be very brief because I know that people really want to hear um, Johan and Amy have a conversation. And, and I'll be back. Um, anyway, I'm really delighted to discover the existence of the Envision Peace Museum. And I hope that this is the first in a series of bringing in pioneers in the field to come talk to educate us all about the field. Um, anyway, in our culture, especially in the US culture with a two-party system, the dominant thinking is very dualistic. Democrat, Republican, right, left, us, them, right, wrong, good and evil. And the only way to solve problems is through power domination that's usually coercive by pressure, isolation, punishment, sanctions, biting, hurting, crippling, sanctions, deterrence, and in the psycholo I'm a psychologist uh, by my background, and the way we think of this is like external forms of control that increase tension, provoke escalation, increase fear, humiliation, um, increase the intensity of identities that, we're, that people are attacking, a win-lose, um, that often has the opposite effect, and the result is not stable and not sustainable. And it's also characterized by concrete black and white thinking and there's no end game and no solution. So I was very grateful to discover um, many years ago Johan Gautung and Transcend. And I'm very grateful to have been invited to be a member of Transcend and I'm grateful to Johan for including me in the book on reconciliation. And one significant thing that I learned is that, as opposed to conflict resolution, which is, has its role, conflict management, conflict resolution, that in conflict transformation, you create a new reality that includes uh, elements and the needs of the opposites of, of, of all the parties, and that recognizes basic human needs, legitimate goals, uh, just grievances, and that it's oriented toward solutions and, um, you know, as we learned from Johan today in the workshop and everywhere else, that there are, we can generate solutions. And the problem is not just not having solutions, but even not having a concept of the possibility of solutions or not having that category in our thinking. So I hope that what we do with um, all the organizations that are co-sponsoring and Envision Peace Museum is to create a new category in our consciousness that opens up new possibilities. And I, I want to acknowledge the um, co-sponsors that I have a personal connection with, which is the Solomon Ash Center for the Study of Ethno-Political Conflict, which helps with the analysis of what understanding of what's going on, and also psychologists for social responsibility. And together, I think we can all help uh, nourish each other and the Envision Peace Museum. 
um, to help create the category in our thinking. So, and there's literature on the table for psychologists for social responsibility. Check out the website, www.psysr.org, and also the Transcend website, www.transcend.org. So anyway, thank you very much. It's a real honor to be here, and like you, I'm looking forward to hearing the conversation between Amy and Johan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. And thank you for lifting up some of our co-sponsors this evening, including the American Friends Service Committee and Psychologists for Social Responsibility, the Solomon Ash Center at Bryn Mawr, and the Center for Peace and Global Citizenship at Haverford College. So thank you to all of those co-sponsors. A uh, couple of quick intros so we can get started with our amazing guests here tonight. Uh, raise your hand if you've ever taken a course in peace studies. All right, neat. Um, so if you did your homework, you probably remember the name Johann Galtung. Um, he's largely recognized as the founder, father of the academic domain of peace and conflict transformation studies. He's a Norwegian sociologist and mathematician who has written over 100 books on a very wide range of topics related to peace, justice, social change. He's taught at more universities than any other sociologist. Um, he's mediated an incredible number of diverse conflicts. I mean, the list goes on, and if I went through his bio, we'd be here all night. But I encourage you to check it out online because it's, it's incredibly remarkable. Um, but Johan, when I first heard about him, he was, uh, his work lifted up for me a couple of really key concepts um, that I think are really important for our conversation tonight about peace, justice, economics, Occupy, and those concepts of both structural violence, so I hope we get a great definition of that tonight, um, and the concepts of positive peace, not just the absence of something, but the presence of something. So thank you so much to, Yo to Professor Johann Galtung for being with us tonight. Amy Goodman, wow, um, about just over 10 years ago, an indie media friend of mine said, you know, you've, you've got to check out Democracy Now! It is just, it, it's, it's basically the only place to go for news for real news in this country, and, and why can't more journalists be like Amy Goodman? And um, many of us familiar with Amy and Democracy Now! Um, are asking similar questions and are so grateful for her work. Amy Goodman, other than being an award-winning journalist and having the only syndicated radio and television show that is free from corporate sponsorship in the country, is also a recipient of the Right Livelihood Award um, also known as the Alternative Nobel Peace Prize, as is Johann Galtung. Um, pretty neat to write livelihood people here tonight. And uh, also the author of some amazing books that I encourage you to check out, yes? And um, some amazing books with some really fun titles, and I just wrote them down. So I, went, so I love The Exception to the Rulers, Exposing, Exposing Oily Politicians, War Profiteers, and the Media Who Love Them. Isn't that a good title? And then static, government liars, media cheerleaders, and the people who fight back. So thank you to Amy for all of her work, for being here tonight, and for encouraging us to fight back, to struggle for peace and justice in an informed, educated, powerful manner. Thank you all for being here.